Assalamu alaikum, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to create a really simple testimonial layout using CSS grid and it's inspired from clerk.com website. So as you can see, it's a really simple layout using some cards and some CSS grid utility classes to make some cards span and take more rows than the other ones so it's pretty interesting to learn more about css grid and we can see how it is very simple to create something similar so let's get started let's start by taking a look at our card component first so this is a react component that takes three main props and since we use in typescript we need to define an interface t card that includes three main props we have quote which is a string an author, which is an object of strings, name, role, company, and image, and class name as an optional string for additional styling. The entire card is wrapped within a div container, and we're using Tailwind Merge plugin so we can combine the initial styling with additional styling classes as a prop. And inside it, we're rendering the quote and the author details in a flex layout now that we have our card components ready let's create our grid layout just to not make the video long and boring i did the hard work and created this testimonial array it contains all the data from quotes the author the images so all we need to do now is just to map through this array and render our cards so within the grid container all we can do is use testimonial and map and we can take t as testimonial and index. We can use a raw function and render our card. Perfect, it's auto imported. Now we need to add the props. We have quote, which is t.quotes, author, which is t.author, and class name, even if it's optional, but we're going to use it. Perfect, now we can see all our cards being rendered correctly. Let's try to add our grid layout right now. So within the container div, let's add grid. And for small screen sizes, we can add grid calls one. For MD, we can do grid calls two. And for larger screen, we can do grid calls three. Let's add a quick cup of two. Perfect. Let's try it and see. Perfect. Now it's one within medium, it's two and within larger screen, it's three. So now if we take a look back at clerk website, we will notice that Versa card and Stripe card are a little bit different. So we will use the class optional prop to do this. So if you go back to our local host, we can go back to our array and within the first card, which is First of card, we can add class name. And within this class name, we can add BG white. Perfect. And a shadow of 2XL. Amazing. Within the last card, which is stripe card, we can do the same. We can ch change the background to BG Indigo 500 and text white. Amazing. Now, if we go back to Clerk website, we will notice that Versal card is taking two rows and Stripe card is taking two rows, basically. It is very simple to achieve this result using CSS grid. You just have to understand how it works. So what we need basically is to give the grid how many rows or columns the card should grow, as well as the positioning, where it starts and where it ends. By default, the start and the ends are in one basically index one so if we go back to our local host we can tell css grid to make this card bigger by two rows and by default it's going to start from one so we don't need to precise where it starts or the positioning so if we go back to Vercel card within our testimonials data within class name what we can do is row span two perfect easy so it says to the cards to span across two rows, basically. So same thing if you want to span in a column layout, same thing. 
it's going to span across two columns. But in our example, we want it to span across the rows, basically. We don't need to precise any positioning. By default, is one. For Stripe card, it's a little bit different because it's there is a specific positioning. So same thing, we want it to span through two rows or across two rows. Perfect. And to see the, some changes here, we need to decide where it starts and where it ends for columns and rows. So first thing is, for the columns, we want it to start in the third column, first of all. Perfect. Now the Stripe card is in the third column. And for the row, we want it to start spanning from the second row. So row start two. Perfect. It's easy. So as you can see, it's pretty simple to build custom layouts using grid. You only need to understand how it really works. Understand that how we can span through rows, through columns, and also the positioning, which is really simple. All right. I hope you enjoyed this build inspired from clerk.com website. Make sure to let me know what you think in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on my social media links. I hope you like it and see you in the next one. Peace.